Good day, and welcome to Media Flow. I'm Sophia, an official spokes voice for Media Flow Publishing. We just wanted to show you a fun little clip using Roland's book, Desiderata, as an experiment in 3D. What you are seeing is a new concept, a new medium if you will. This work grew out of a concept for an enhanced digital book. Using music, video, voice technologies, and media flow scrolling. Our first goal is to digitally capture the feel, the excitement, involvement, and essence, of the physical book. Something static screens fail to do. Secondly, a media flow text asks you to slow down, it invites focus, and lets you experience the words and nuances as they were originally written. And in my opinion, there's something, just mesmerizing, and cognitively stimulating, about all those words, images, music, and songs, gently flowing up into all that digital ether. I hope you enjoy what Media Flow is working toward. Desiderata The Last Paradise Canto 66 The Confession The Inquisitor bore down upon the captives. Tell me now, your true purpose for being here. I am about to pass condemnation and, I assure you, that will not be a pleasant experience. In my powers granted by the Ecclesia, I shall condemn your souls to a fiery hell, as our Savior soon returns to punish you blasphemers and rescue his suffering children. A similar earthly fate awaits your bodies when this door behind me opens. The Inquisitor turns and walks toward the door and reaches to open the iron grate to alert the guards. A voice from behind stops him. No. Wait. He slowly lowers his arm as a knowing smirk spreads across his face. He feels his cleverly directed questioning has inspired a complete confession that is about to transpire. He is correct. He turns to look for the speaker, it is just now, that he realizes the voice he had heard was not a familiar one. Roland and Sophia are standing quietly, looking over to a chair where Rio, the unwelcomed monkey, is leaning against its back. Arms crossed and sparking eyes wide open. Yes, Monsignor Guadagni. It is I who wishes to confess. What sort of trick is this? You two are magicians. I have seen such childish shows for the common man. Guadagni looks over at the other two captives. They remain silent. If I may, I would like to take a brief moment here, to interject a short historical footnote though I'm afraid it will not be of much comfort for those being interrogated. 